Welcome to another segment of Remedies for the Remnant. Another quick glimpse at the wonder of God's healing ways that He offers His followers, His sincere followers, through His Word and the spirit of prophecy. I love the promise that has, God has given us found in Psalms 32, 8, where it says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way that you should go. I will guide you with mine eye. What an incredible promise. But have you ever wondered how God actually instructs and teaches us and guides us with his eye? Well, the, the simple answer to that one is Psalms 119, 105, where it says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I like the way Christian education expounds on this. He who does nothing but waits to be compelled by some supernatural agency will wait in lethargy and darkness. God has given us his word. God speaks in unmistakable language to your soul. Is not the word of his mouth sufficient to show you your duty and to urge its fulfillment? Those who humbly and prayerfully search the scriptures to know and to do God's will will not be in doubt of their obligations to God. For if any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine. John 7, verse 17. If you would know the mystery of godliness, you must follow the plain word of truth, feeling or no feeling, emotion or no emotion. Obedience must be rendered from a sense of principle and the right must be pursued under all circumstances. No wonder the psalmist in Psalms 119, 162 said, I rejoice at thy word as one that findeth great spoil. It is great spoil, dear friends, when we have something in our possession that we can be confident that will give us the confidence and the guidance from God himself. No wonder Job exclaimed in Job 23, 12, I have esteemed the words of his mouth more than my necessary food. I believe Job was wanting to make sure that he was being led by God and not someone or something else. What do you think? I've esteemed the words of his mouth more than my necessary food. Until next time, may God richly bless you with a hunger and a thirst for righteousness to seek to know him through his word. For it says in John 17, verse 3, and this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. God bless you, dear friend. Have a wonderful day.